hello guys welcome to today's video by trust Stanley and this is a TS tech talk video guys so on today's video I'm going to show you how to live stream on prism live streaming app so we are going to be live streaming on the Facebook app application so once you open prism for the first time after you might have logged in it's going to display this area and on default actually this live streaming area will be active so if you want to live stream right now, all you need to do is to click on ready to start live streaming. But then if you do not want to live stream, probably you want to live stream a game. All you need to do is to choose this option right there. You can notice there are two options just before the ready. The first one, the default one is this one that shows the face. And then the second one is this one that it has actually going to um, screencast your screen. So if you're ready to do that, just click on ready and it's going to display um, um you're ready, ready to live stream and you notice it says set destination so you are going to select the platform that you want to live stream on if it's facebook or youtube or tiktok just click on this area to set and then you can notice there are different icon the first one is facebook second one is um the first one is youtube second one is facebook third one is twitch and then nava tv and then band and then there are even more if you look down there so you can also click on custom rtmp if you want to but for our case we are going to click on facebook and then we are going to go ahead and tap on connect to facebook so it's going to be connected to facebook now you have you have to give this um, application um, a right to have access to your facebook page so i'm going to click on continue as trust stanley to log in with this application i'm going to click on ok to confirm that i want to give this app access to those details and I'm also going to click on OK to give that privilege um, to allow access to um, my timeline. Now you notice right there, it's saying Trust Stanley, which is actually live streaming on my timeline. But I do not want to live stream on my timeline. I actually want the live stream to go to my Facebook page. So I'm going to click on this check icon and then select my page right there on the drop down. And now I'm going to choose the appropriate page, which is actually the game part. So once I select the game part, I will have to click on OK. And now it's going to confirm that it's going to be live streaming to my game part. And now you can see the resolution of the live stream that we are going to make use of. So on default, it's actually selected as um, um, 720 um, pixel. And I can also choose that. I think this is not bad. And this is the highest one, but I'm going to actually choose it choose this lowest one because i'm actually running on data and it's not very strong so for your case the best um, quality is actually um, 1080 um, pixel and you can also go for 720 if you want to but i'm going to choose this for some reason this is just a tutorial if i'm doing a live stream i will have to choose 720 because of my data and also if i have a very strong network i'm definitely going to make use of 1080. so once you're ready um and you are okay with all of these settings just click on okay and then um, give your video a title i'm going to call this um, test i'm going to call this test stream and then i'm going to click on done and now i'm going to tap on go live to actually start the live and you notice right there it says um start casting um record with prism live so i'm going to click on start and then the live stream have already started um, wait for it. So the live stream have already started now. Now it's live streaming everywhere on my screen. So all I need to do right now is to open the game I want to live stream on. I'm actually playing um, this particular game before. So um, I'm like going to open this and then close it back. Let me just show you. I only want to show you guys that this live stream is actually going. So I'm going to go right to the page and then i'm going to go on um the facebook the exact facebook page which is game part and then i just want to confirm if this is live and you can notice right there that i'm currently live streaming which is correct so this is all i want to show you guys and this is all how to live stream on um, prism live on your facebook page to your facebook page and it's also the same way to do it on your youtube channel so if this video is helpful guys do not forget to smash like and subscribe to the channel for even more video so you want to end your live stream all you need to do is tap on this area and you notice where it says um screencast on tap on that area 
and you are going to notice that the stream cast is currently on so all i need to do is to click on end and then you notice it's ending broadcast so once it ends broadcast is either going to show me the history of the live stream or i can check that on the facebook page so guys this is all i want to show you and also guys you can also save the video that you live stream if you want to but for some reason please do not save it because it's actually going to consume your data so that is all i want to show you on today's video please smash like and subscribe to the channel and i'm going to see you on my next video please stay safe and peace